The next taping technique we'll be doing is with the Grip It kinesiology tape for uh, hip pathology. So it may be that we're trying to support the hip flexor muscle group or it might actually be post-op for hip pathology. For this technique we're going to use a 5 centimetre width Grip It tape and we're going to be covering over the hip joint. So this is for your hip strain or hip pathology. So we'll need to just make sure that the alignment of the tape is over the anterior part of the hip joint and coming down midway along the thigh. So you just need to measure the length of that area. Cut your tape and then round the corners so it's ready to apply. Now for this position, so that the body part is on stretch, I've got our patients sitting on the edge of the bed with their knee bent, so their quadriceps muscles on slight stretch, and also so that they're slightly tilted back at the hip, so that we've got some extension uh, through that hip area as well. Obviously it depends how sore the patient is and whether they're able to get into this position. If they're going really well, you might actually be able to have them into more stretch and hanging off the edge of the bed. But for the purpose of today, it will have them in sitting. So you'll need to take the first five centimetres of tape to place onto the skin. Make sure that the direction of the tape is heading towards the hip joint and that you allow enough to actually be able to stretch up to the lower part of the abdomen. So for this one, so that you can ensure that the patient can remain clothed, especially if you're on a sporting field or in a public area, you can actually ask the patient to assist you with the, applying the tape. So you'll just need to fold the backing paper over so that there's something for the patient to grip onto. And then you can feed this underneath the shorts with the patient feeding from the top section all the way down. And we can meet in the middle then and pass it under. That's it. I'll just help you there so it doesn't get caught. That's it. So once it's through, the clinician can then take over. The tape applier can take that the edge, peel the backing paper off. So you've got the last five centimetres available to just place onto the surface of skin. So we've got that area on some slight stretch then, covering over the surface of the anterior hip. Now, if you're wanting to give a little bit more compression or there's a particular area of pain, you can then do a strip across over that as well. So for this particular patient, it's the top part of the quad into the base of their hip. So we'll just take a piece in the opposite direction, trim the edges, fold the tape in half so that your hands are free to peel the backing paper off evenly from the back. And then we're finding the area of most tenderness which for this particular patient is right here. So applying that firm pressure and stretch over the actual area of soreness and then placing down each end of the tape. And just giving it a good rub to ensure that the glue activates and sticks. And there you have, taping over the anterior hip.